Alright, so this is the last part of this video series. Hooray! This is also where I go off the script because I only had things written for like the first three parts. So, hooray! Um, what am I missing? Okay, so let's talk about throws, I guess. Um, he has this throw which ends their opponent like you know facing up head towards him and he also has this throw which is face down head first I guess arguably this is the better throw because you know any move that ends with an opponent face down is pretty bad like they their wake up options are horrible um he has down forward one plus two as a throw 40 40 damage which is not bad but it can go better than this if you do um half circle forward one plus two you have rodeo spin now back then rodeo spin did a shit ton of damage and with command throws being kind of nerfed across the board it's you know 50 damage but 50 damage is nothing to scuff at especially for a command for a command throw like this is regular throws are like 35 damage and this is 50 damage so you're getting like 15 damage extra just from doing this and they have to tech it with a one plus two break so i'd prefer this over this no matter what the situation is i guess the only situation where theoretically down forward one plus two could be better is God damn it, switch sides. Okay. Um let's see. I'm gonna have it so that I'm facing the wall. Okay. So let's see if I don't botch this. That's 42. So it only adds two extra damage. It doesn't even wall splat. Like if it wall splatted, if it did like a crap ton of damage, like Gigas's Whatever the hell that throw is, <laughs> um, and giant swing, then yeah, but it only does two extra damage. So, therefore, you should always go for a rodeo spin. I don't know the frames of this. I want to say it's the same frames as any other throw, which is, you know, 12 frames. I want to say it. But you could duck this to avoid it, or you can, like, you know, the range is, you know... It's good, but it's not super great or anything. But you'd want to set this up. If you'd like throw it out there, eventually the opponent's going to wise up to it. But it's a really good throw, though. It's a 350 damage, unscaled across the board. And incorporate it whenever you can. Like, if you look at the previous videos and see all of those opportunities where you're at plus frames or whatever the case may be, then just, you know, just throw it out. You know? Just don't throw that out, but throw this out, you know? You never know what could happen. Worst case scenario, the opponent, um, breaks it. Disasterific case scenario, the opponent can freaking duck the damn throw and you get punished for it. But, um... Let's see, he has also this move for 3, which is unsafe on block, but I didn't include it because there's not much you can really do from it, because you're not at enough range to do the 3, you're not at enough range to do the 4, it's just, I don't know, it, it has decent, you know, and another thing, sidestep 4 till the 3, 50 damage, high crush low crush i'm sorry hits high you can easily duck it it's crazy unsafe if you duck it be careful not to do this move when you're trying to do three plus four because it can happen so just be mindful of that all right so let's talk combos i know that's like the one thing that everyone wants people wants me to talk about is combos so I guess B and B would be this. Let's 
so that's like uh, I'm gonna say 70 damage so it's um, 3 plus 4, back 3, 3, relax 2, 3, back 2, 4, down 2, 3, and relax 3. The relax 3 isn't part of the combo, so it's unscaled, but it's guaranteed no matter what the opponent does. So if they're trying to wake up backwards, right? Just an example. That'll hit. Let's try this. That'll hit. Let's try this. That'll hit. Like, you can pick a random move. Like, say, like, random, right? This is on random. You know, doesn't matter. They'll get hit. There is an exception to this. And the only thing that can beat out the guaranteed relax three at the end of this particular combo is spring kick. See? Oh no, I got figured out. Eddie's kryptonite, the spring kick. But there's a way to beat that too. If your opponent is getting spring kick happy and they think they got a leg up over you, you can do this instead. That's actually unfair because I'm up against the wall. Okay, um... Hmm. That's, not a, that's not a good example ladder. Hmm. Alright. There you go. So, if they decide to do a spring kick, you can go to relax four and just completely shatter their fucking hopes and dreams like they get way 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 more damage from relax four at the end of a combo and then relax three some instances you can even duck over that like if you're against the wall you just have just enough space so you miss that's why walls are both good and bad. But if you're not against the wall, like you're in a wall of stage and they do this, you can just knock them out the fucking air and drop the combo because I'm bad. Eventually they'll know that it's not worth the extra damage that they take, so they're just gonna respect you enough to take the free relax three. Another potential combo ender that you could possibly do is, um. You can do this. Let's see. That. Okay. No, it's a left hand. There you go. Okay. So that, that beats out literally everything. You can do. Um, in combos where you're left standing, like say this ends to that. Or even better, let's do it here. As you can see, like if you're off axis or if you're standing right in front of the dude and you're not facing left, then it's not gonna work. You have to be like facing left for it to be guaranteed and not against the wall. But okay, let's 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 do this as an example. So I'm standing. I can do back one, four, three. The angle has to be perfect. And it beats out everything. Like, this beats out everything. The only thing that it doesn't beat out is the shitty angle that Eddie has because that's what happens when you play Eddie. You just gotta be at that perfect angle or everything will not work. So, you get the point. Um, back one, four, three is a good ender if you're standing because the three at the end is guaranteed to hit. And this will hit like spring kick doesn't beat it because this isn't a low this is a mid so you're just gonna have to eat it um that's basically it there are 
other combos that you could do, like the sway combo. Let's see. You know, that you could do, or, you know. Um, 4 4 4, I think I briefly touched upon it. The high damage combo you can do is um, 4 4 3 plus 4. So, the timing is really weird, and you gotta make sure that you don't go through your opponent. I think Noctis, you don't go through Noctis, but I don't know. Let's see. What the hell? Okay. See, he went through him that time. Yeah, it's a really, really hard combo to get down. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard because you have to like time it correctly. If not, then the combo will drop. And otherwise, if you do it too soon, then you'll just go right through the opponent because, of course, you will. There you go, finally. All right, so that's like 70 damage. First try. There you go, first try. That's 75 damage though. It's literally 75 damage on a counter hit. So, yeah. Um, slippery kicks. You know, you could be that guy. You could do this. You know, that that's cool. That's cute. 60 damage or. Why go for 60 damage when you can go for 67 damage? See what I mean? Um, I guess I can talk about his wall things. He doesn't really have a phenomenal wall game. I'm still learning that myself, actually. But for wall, this splats, um, that splats, um, that doesn't splat. That splats, um, that splats. Any move that knocks a person down splats, so this would also splat. But if you're standing and you're against the wall, you could do back 3-3, three, three, I suppose. I think you could delay it, maybe? Or something like that. Um, that doesn't hit, but basically you could do um, this into that, that's 45 damage, this, this is 42, but you can go into like, Oki, um, just be careful not to press too many buttons, that's all, because if you do, then you know, your opponent's going to wake up and you get bodied. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, oh yeah, the swag combos. Okay, so Eddie has several swag combos, which leads from one, two, four, three, and is pretty technically advanced. Like it's a lot of execution involved because you can have the most perfect execution, but because we're playing Eddie, he could just give you the middle finger outright and not even do the goddamn combo because he'll be off axis because he's fucking Eddie. So naturally from relax, you can do four, three, and this is like the most basic of combos you can do from it. That is 54. Yes, 54. But you can also do this, which is a little bit harder. A lot harder, actually. Like, to run and do the down 2 3 is like the hardest part of this combo. 
and sometimes you can miss time the four three plus four from a lack so yeah if you do this in a match and it drops yeah like you it's it's really like overkill um let's see but it, it, it can be possible though definitely it's just really hard but that's probably i guess the most like max damage you can do no i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna definitely do it i'm gonna, I'm gonna get it I almost had it. <sighs> uh, something like that. Like, if, you're, if it's against the wall, it makes the combo a lot easier to do if you're against the wall. But, um, that's about it in closing. That's like 66. Let's see if we can do more. That's 64. Okay, that is way more damage. But in closing, that's I guess all I know about Eddie for the most part. Uh, rage, rage, rage. That's what I was forgetting. I was forgetting rage. Okay, so um, this is Eddie's rage art. In case you didn't know, in case you didn't see already. Bong, 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 bong. Random Portuguese. Bong, get fucked. Alright, so this is 55 damage. Um, you can do this from most combo enders. Instead of going for the down 2 3 mix up, you can do this in the most combo enders. If I hit. Yeah, you can, you can, you can miss it. Because it looked like you get it, but you don't. Yeah, and the range is pretty deceptive too, so sometimes when it looks like it's not going to hit, it hits. Sometimes when it looks like it should hit, it hits. I want to see... Uh, I guess you could say it's a high crush because he's like going into like a low stance, but... Eh. And this is his Rage Drive. That was his Rage Art, this is his Rage Drive. Now, this actually got buffed. <laughs> One of the few moves that actually gets buffed in this game. Like, this got buffed because you could sidestep. If you block the second, if you block the first hit, you could sidestep and you could ruin a nigga's day with this. Like, in fact, like, I remember the Spirogen versus P Ling matchup, like, a few months ago before this got patched. Dude was able to block the first hit. Go into Art of Phoenix and just ruin his day. And that was the day that I realized Shao Yu was a bullshit character in this game. But they fixed it to the point where if you get hit with the first hit, you gotta take the second hit, even if it's on block. So they fixed that. Um, from there, you can go into a bound combo. You get a full combo from it. You know, you can get a full combo from it. You can even do it in a combo, but the payoff is not really that great. Like, there's just no real purpose to use it outside of a combo, but the purpose to use this period is. Let me see, I think it's a low crush. I think it's a low crush. I want to say it's a low crush. Maybe. Let me just double check. I don't think it's a low crush, but let me just see anyway. Okay, it's not a low crush. Okay. Well, regardless, like, it comes out pretty fast, I suppose. Like, let me just look up and see. It comes out in 15 frames. So, this is pretty fast for a rage drive. 
However, I would use this as a combo. And like if you know like you're gonna use this to end the round, I would use this to end the round. Otherwise, Eddie is way too valuable with Rage because with Rage, all your attacks are just completely busted. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I'm just going off of random BS now. So I guess this is just to end the video. Um, I really hope that this was informative. I'm sorry that my commentary was literally all over the place. But there's quite a lot to talk about this character. There's still a lot of things that I don't know. I've been talking for like close to if not over two hours now. And I haven't even touched the surface of this character. Like there's so much to learn. Um, I really like this character, I think he's pretty cool, you know, he's not the best by any means, but I don't know, he's cool, and now you guys know most of what I know, I'm not gonna tell you all my goddamn secrets, hell no, but you guys know most of what I know, so there you have it, take it as you wish, now. Get to the lab, you filthy animals.